Now see here energy density of a parallel plate capacitor. So, just we have calculated if there is a parallel plate capacitor and here this these are the negative side and this distance is d and a is the area of plate. Energy stored is that is u is equal to half q is square upon 2 c just we have derived it here. We can write q is equal to c into v. So, here we can write u is equal to half c square v square upon c this and cancel here. So, we will be getting half C V square. So, this is the formula for energy stored in parallel plate capacitor. Now, we can calculate energy density of this capacitor. So, energy density will be here if you are calculating. So, energy density is equal to half C V square energy of capacitor divided by volume A into D. We know it C is equal to A epsilon by D for parallel plate capacitor having vacuum between the plates and V is equal to we can write A into D that is electric field into distance. Now, replace all these values we will be getting here energy density is equal to here C V that is A epsilon upon twice of D into A into D into E square into D square. So, this, this and this, this everything will get cancelled, you will be getting half epsilon naught E square. So, this is the energy density of the parallel plate capacitor. So, now let us discuss the concept of common potential. Suppose you have taken two capacitors, one is capacitor having capacitance C 1, another is of capacitor having capacitance C 2. This is charged by using the battery of V 1 volt and this is charged by using the battery of V 2 volts. When these two capacitors are charged Q 1 charge in this capacitor is C 1 V 1 and charge in this capacitor is Q 2, Q 2 is equal to C 2 V 2. Now, these two capacitors are connected in this way C 1 and C 2 here in this one. So, now these two capacitors share their charges until the potential of these two plates becomes equal. It means these positive plates will attain common potential till that sharing of the charges takes place. Let common potential will be here V volt. So, when these two capacitors are connected parallel here, sharing of the charges takes place and both capacitors uh, positive plates of the capacitors attain a common potential. This common potential is V volt. Now, see here in this case we can write charges on the both the capacitors. We can write here Q 1 dash is equal to C 1 into V and Q 2 dash is equal to C 2 into V. But see here in this case conservation of charge takes place there is no loss of the charge. So, we can write by using this conservation of charge concept here Q 1 plus Q 2 is equal to Q 1 dash plus Q 2 dash. Now, put the values of here Q 1 this this and uh, th these values. So, we will be getting when we replace all these values. C 1 V 1 plus C 2 V 2 is equal to C 1 V plus C 2 V, where here V is common potential. Now, we can write, we can calculate the V, V is equal to C 1 V 1 plus C 2 V 2 upon C 1 plus C 2. So, this is the expression for the common potential. 